This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real learning, real videos, real success. I want to spend a little time talking about the settings inside of your apps and keeping your apps updated. So first of all, let's look at updating. Down here on my store tile, the bottom right hand corner, I have this number 13. That indicates to me that I have 13 apps that have been updated, but I haven't updated inside of my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on store and let's go see what happens when I update. Well, first of all, it's going to take me right back to wherever I last was when I was inside of the store, and I guess I was thinking about writing a review <laughs> for Meeting Timer. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this, clicking the Cancel button, and let me get out of Meeting Timer and go back to the store. Oh, and by the way, all I did was click the arrow in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Now, let's go to the top right-hand corner. See where it says Updates 13? You simply click on Updates, and it's going to take you out to the tile that says, or excuse me, the screen that has all the tiles that need updates. 13 of these are available. If it has a check on it, it's going to update. All I'm doing is clicking on these to turn off the update. If there's something you're not interested in updating, simply don't have it checked. Otherwise, you simply check whatever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and click down here in the bottom, select all, so that everything's getting updated. And then you just click the install button. And you see the green lines? Whoops, they went so fast. There were green lines running across the top of the screen very quickly, little dots indicating that it was getting started. And now the green lines are running beside the apps, showing me that those apps are installing the updates. So each one of those will quickly and easily update for me. Well, I should say quickly, it depends on the speed of your internet connection, right? As long as you have a decent internet connection, they go pretty quickly. So now it says everything's installed, everything is updated. So let me back up here, so I start off at the store. You notice now in the top right hand corner, there's nothing that tells me I needed updates. And when I hit my Windows button to go back out to my start screen, oh, did you see it? It just flashed off. Down here at the store, the 12 just boom, right off. So I don't have a number down here any longer. So now my store, Everything is updated inside of my store. Well, let's take another look at the inside of an app because there's one more thing about apps we want to make sure that you understand. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the, um, let's see, we'll have some open. Let me go to something I have opened up here. Let's go to wages and salaries. When you right click in an app, it pops things up either the bottom or the top of your screen. And in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see the only thing that's happening on this one is it's got a calculate salary button. Let's leave this one behind. I'm going to go ahead and close this one. Just drag it off. Whoops, I didn't drag there. Drag, click and drag off the screen. There we go. And let's open, let's go to um, the weather app. And inside the weather app, when I right click, you'll notice that I have, oh wow, top and bottom of the screen. I have all kinds of things that I can do here inside of the weather app because it has a lot of settings that I'm available, that's available for me to change. So you would determine how you want to change, what you want to change, just by clicking the little item. Woo, there are a lot here. Let's talk about how to change the setting for the place. Currently, let's go ahead and click on places. It's set up so that Tampa shows. But if you want to have a different location to show up in your weather, you just click on the plus sign. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign. It says, well, enter a city. Okay, let's say New York City. Now, anywhere in the world should be able to be found on here. You might try a zip code, you might try the name of the city. That one was quick and easy, right? I just typed it and it showed up. Um, let me show you my hometown, Runnels, Iowa. It's only about 500 people, folks. I'm not sure it's going to show up on here. You see it had to go, oh, wow, I'm so impressed. There's my little Runnels, Iowa. I'm going to go ahead and click it. But you can see a difference in the screenshots there as, as the uh, computer finds cities or not. But wow, pretty quickly it found them. Ooh, kind of cold there in Runnels today, isn't it? But you see now how we were able to quickly add to our settings. We were quickly able to change what's happening inside of our weather app. So I'm going to click the left arrow here to go back, 
go back, go back. So now I'm back here at my Tampa weather app and I right click and I can say, okay, the current location, I can change it to Celsius, I can refresh because maybe my screen isn't quite what I want. Drop down places here and I have New York City, I have Runnels, let's go see what it's like in Runnels. All right, so go ahead and click on Runnels. Ooh, doesn't look like the weather's too lovely back home where my family is. But the point here is you're able to see how you can go in and change the settings in your apps and to make sure that everything is updated, you're also able to go in and update those apps. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one out. I'm gonna just hit my desktop. I wanna leave it out there because I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just drag it over here to the right. So, whoops, I'm in the wrong view. You know, I was trying to um, pop it in, but you can only do that. Let me go over here to desktop view, show you what I was trying to do. Well, I'll get it. I was wanting to leave it out here so I can keep track of what's going on with the weather there, right? Okay, so now I have gone into an app, I've updated the settings on an app, placed it where I want it on my screen, and I'm really happy with this app now. You can do the same thing with any of your apps. Just remember the trick is a right click and go looking for the choices that are out there and available for you when you right click on an app. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.